Welcome to Flipped Classroom. Today's lesson is an introduction to the book David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. The first question people have when looking at the title is, is this book a religious book? The answer is both yes and no. Yes, it is actually about the story of David Goliath. It is based on a concept found in the Old Testament and that is articulated on page 8 when it says this book is a metaphor for improbable victory. In another sense it is not a religious book. It is a social commentary. It presents scientific facts. You'll see many studies and statistics and it will include individual stories, narratives. One of the main concepts shared in the biblical story and the social commentary is giants. On page 5 the question is posed, what happens when ordinary people confront giants? Giants is a metaphor for powerful opponents of all kinds and in the book David and Goliath these opponents include armies, mighty warriors, disabilities, misfortune, and oppression. The book also questions how to confront a giant. The author poses the question, should I play by the rules or should I follow my own instincts? Shall I persevere or give up? Shall I strike back or forgive? The author attempts to answer this question. Gladwell's thesis is found on page 6 when he writes, Facing overwhelming odds produces greatness and beauty. Throughout the book, he attempts to prove this claim. He starts on page 6 with one of his premises, that giants are not what we think they are. He also writes, the same qualities that give giants strength are often their source of weakness. The evidence he used to prove this is the David and Goliath story, as well as contemporary examples like the Sacramento Kings, dyslexia, and the Nazis. The book David and Goliath brings a new perspective on an old story. The traditional version begins in the introduction chapter where the author discusses David and presents him as an unskilled shepherd boy. He says traditionally David was seen as someone who received God's blessing. The win between David and Goliath is presented as a miracle and the wind proves that the Israelites are God's chosen people. In Gladwell's version, David is presented as a trained slinger. Also, Goliath had many medical problems. Instead of winning being a sign of God's blessing, the win is perceived in the form of trickery. On page 12, the author writes, the duel reveals the folly of our assumptions about power and that we continue to make this error today. There are two ways to interpret the nine chapters. One, you can see a hopeful message where Gladwell is trying to explain that people can rise above their challenges. On the other side, you may see an unethical message that Gladwell is saying breaking the rules is acceptable. So the question you ask yourself while reading this book, is winning worth it at all costs? Thank you for joining me today in Flipped Classroom.